How's it going, people? Just got off of work. Found a couple more um, tracks laying around. I even found a one on Buddhism. It's kind of boring, though. I don't know. I might do it, but not today. If you're interested in hearing about the Buddhism track, uh, let me know. I mean, it's all about eternal happiness and shit like that. Yeah, that's not the tract I want to read right now. I got something really special. You have God's Word on it. And apparently, that's God's Word. You know, it's not, uh, it's not this. It's, uh, not that. It's not even this. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up with fiction. All right, let's. This is the Holy Bible, and it's the Word of God according to this. So let's see what they got to say. I haven't read this yet. I found it on the ground this morning, along with the Buddhism thing. <laughs> the bad news: you are a sinner. <laughs> you have God's word on it. As it is written, there are none righteous, no, not one. And that's from Romans 3.10. They keep using the same verses over and over again in all these tracks. Ah, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that's Romans 23, so we've just uh, skipped over 13 verses to get to that. But... Um, the, the other stuff wasn't relevant, so they have to jump around and cherry-pick, you know. You don't read this book in order. It's God's Word. You jump all around the place. Yeah. Otherwise, you're doing it wrong. It's the way I did it. I did it the wrong way. I read it from cover to cover, like I'm going to do this track. You will die. Okay. And be cast into the lake of fire because of your sin. You have God's word on it. For the wages of sin is death. And that's Romans 6, 23, part A. That's only half of a verse. <laughs> and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Hell and death and the lake of fire. They cast hell into the, into the lake of fire. They told hell to go to hell. Okay. Uh, this is the second death. The second one. Uh, no, and we're not talking about being defibrillated, you know. <laughs> You're on your next one, bro. No, no. That's just the first one still. You have a second death. It's a spiritual one. All right. Second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. And that's Revelation 20, 14, and 15. All the same fucking verses. It's the same people, too. Hmm. <laughs> they must have a template. And they just insert new bullshit around these these verses here. All right. You cannot save yourself. You have God's word on it. <laughs> Not of works, lest any man should boast. We can't have that. Ephesians 2, 9. But we are all as un, an unclean thing. Wait. We are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And that's Isaiah 64, 6, 8. Just the first half. Yeah, my grandfather loved that one. <laughs> he was a preacher. Um, so then... It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of 
God, that showeth mercy. And that's Romans 9.16. Yeah, Paul was Paul was big on those Greco-Roman athletic events, and he used a lot of sporting terms. Yeah. Weren't those a bunch of naked guys running around? What's up with that, Paul? Or Saul, or whatever the fuck your name might have been. <laughs> hmm. The good news. God does not want you to perish. He just set everything up that way. <laughs> you have God's word on it. Well, it's just like one of those sermons. <sighs> they always have to have that little hook. That little... It has nothing to do with making sense. It's all about emotions and shit. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering. That's not inactivity, it's just he's suffering things just to continue on and on and on and on and on. <clears throat> it's his will. Long suffering towards us, Lord. Oh, long-suffering towards us, word. It's us, hyphen, ward, as in our direction. So, us, word. Us, ward. That's a new one. I never heard. <laughs> I'll make sure to use that soon in conversation. Hey, that car is coming, us, word. I'm going to sound so smart. Just kidding. All right. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Second Peter 3 9. Yeah. Who will have all men to be saved and come unto the knowledge of the truth? That's that Orwellian doublespeak, you know, where the truth ain't true and freedom ain't free. Yeah. God has provided the only way to be saved from hell. And I think it's like you got to believe in the Son of God. <laughs> He's a Son of God. Yeah. Yeah. God has provided the only way to be saved from hell. You have God's word on it. You can take that to the bank in the afterlife. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's John 3.16, and I think Austin 3.16 is preferable. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's all this pagan nonsense about blood atonement and passing someone's punishment on to someone else, you know, to erase their crimes. Yeah. It's so moral. Not. Uh, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And that's 1 Timothy 1.15a. Only half of it. <sighs> Sometimes they give us the B-side, you know, if they like that better. And it's more, you know, useful to their purposes. <clears throat> Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby may, we must be saved. And that's Acts 4.12. And they gave us the whole verse. It was all good. God saves you forever when you trust Jesus Christ. You have God's word on it. 
and he's giving it <laughs> some dude. <sighs> but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23, the B half. There we go. We get the B side. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. 1 John 5.11 and I give unto you eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And that's John 10.28. This is all pretty convincing, folks. I mean, don't you think? It is your decision. You must turn from your way and completely trust Jesus Christ to save you. You have God's word on it. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. You can see you can be evil just by the thoughts you're having. You don't have to do a single bad thing. You know, Richard Ramirez was raised a Jehovah Witness, and he turned into a Satanist serial killer fucktard. You know what that was. Well, I sure don't, I don't measure up. Since I'm going to hell, let's do some things that really make me deserve it. Yeah, real fucking smart thing to teach a kid. That's not how you teach somebody right and wrong. Do this or some invisible... Sky Daddy's going to write your name in a book and put a, a, a frown face next to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I went off on thought crimes. That's right. Um, and let him return unto the Lord. Wait, you asked him to leave from his ways, and you assume he's returning to the religion. See, they just know that whoever it was was indoctrinated as a child. That's why they say return to it. Return to your childhood brainwashing. Yeah, that's fucking evil. And he will have mercy upon him. And our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And that's Isaiah 55, 7. Yeah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And that's Acts 16, 31. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. You make that sound like a bad thing, ungodly. <laughs> it's not the same thing as wicked. You could be ungodly and good. Yes, you can. His faith is counted for righteousness. Romans 4, 5. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's John fourteen six. This is all very fascinating, isn't it? In Titus 1, 2, the Bible says that God cannot lie. So there you go. That makes it a fact. <laughs> so what? It says the book, the book that, you're, that you want to believe in says it's true. So that's your evidence. Muhammad, Muhammad has Jesus predicting Muhammad in Muhammad's book. So you gotta you gotta totally respect that too then. It's just as logical. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus predicted Muhammad, but only in the Quran. Uh, the Bible says that God cannot lie. That's where I got stuck. <laughs> Will you take him at his word and ask Jesus to save you? 
take him at his word. <sighs> Whoa, that was uh, a little excessive. <sighs> if you will accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, please pray this prayer or one similar to it. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I am a sinner and need your forgiveness for stuff. Bad stuff, apparently. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. I think, didn't BTK use this prayer every time he, to purge after he did another crime? He's going to heaven, by the way. He's saved. So is the son of Sam. And so was, um, so was, um, Dahmer. Yeah, he got saved too. And Bundy. He got re saved. <sighs> yeah, so I'm so impressed. Okay. Yeah, he died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. For the moment, at least. I now ask Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal Savior. Yeah, he's my personal Savior. Like, he isn't dealing with anybody else, just me. Personal? It sounds so exclusive. He's my imaginary friend, not yours. Yeah. shouldn't have drank that all. I want some more. All right. I am willing, by God's grace, to follow and obey Christ as Lord of my heart and life. You might have to settle for his earthly representative since he's not taking calls right now. <coughs> Salvation does not depend on feelings. Or an emotional experience, but yes, it does. It totally bypasses the intellect and goes right for the emotions. It comes when you believe that God has promised in his word that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10.9 That's it, huh? By the way, these are awesome. Stan and Jack, it's awesome. Great myth makers. At least they admitted it. If you reject Jesus Christ, oh no, could somebody do that? That's not possible. <sighs> you also have God's word on it. Mm! Explanation point. They're mad. And they're going to give us a B-side of a verse. He that believeth not is condemned already. Good thing he wasn't believing. He's already condemned. <sighs> because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. What? That's John 3.18b. <laughs> Please don't reject the gospel. Trust Jesus today. Oh, and they got a little thing where you can, um, uh, you know, fill shit out and mail it to them so they can pester you. <sighs> if you have decided to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior after reading this tract, please write and let us know. <laughs> That's the Fellowship Tract League, and I'm enjoying them immensely. I think this is my third uh, 
one of theirs. They've been out in force lately, and they're littering by proxy. And I'm picking the shit up and making use of it. So let me know if you learned something. I wasn't really paying attention. I was drinking my beer and doing a video. Let me know if I missed something. And I'm hope, I hope I'm not making new Christians, but if I am or not, peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, because I want you to, and that should be enough. I mean, my wants should be able to change reality. Unless it's God's will that they go a different way. Right? Makes sense. About as much as... Actually, this makes more sense. <laughs> Bye.